going on guys? Mr. Lock and Load here with Unhappy Camper. We're going to do a quick video on uh, basic movements in your buddy team whenever you're in a, in a defensive engagement. Uh, you can either be going front or you could be doing a retreat movement, trying to get the hell out of the situation. But uh, your basic, basic concepts are to help each other out. It's individual actions meets joint actions. So go ahead and show it's the same range we're just going to be going uh, horizontally against the uh, 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 range but what we're going to be doing is basic communication uh, when I was in the Marine Corps I had my ABC's of any kind of war fighting violence of action momentum and communication violence of action is simply being violent being aggressive you're you are doing the fight you are owning the situation violence of action Momentum is what we're going to be really getting into here, and that's keep the momentum going. Don't get stagnant in your, in your movements. That allows the enemy to move around you, flank you, whatever, and uh, kill your ass. And then uh, violence of action, momentum, and communication. That plays really big here with our uh, <clears throat> actions. So the communication is basically, I'm covering him. You're okay to move now. Move your ass. Okay, that's that's one. So, I'm shooting, he's moving. All I'm going to say is, uh, you guys, what, whatever the verbiage is, make it your, your yourself that you and your team can understand. So I'm sitting here, hey bro, got your cover, or a simple, I am shooting, he's allowed to move. Now that he is, he's, he's moving, something like set, whatever he wants to say. Roger, Roger moving to you. Roger. Now he's shooting. Now I can either move to cover or say I'm moving right to him. We gotta talk about something, whatever. But just communicating effectively on the battlefield. So now that, hey bro, set, moving, move. I'm shooting, I'm shooting. Now, now he's in the fight, he's shooting. All right, I know that he's shooting, he's covering my fire. Now here's another thing. Go ahead and, and get back down. Say we're in a situation like this. Go. Act like you're dry, you just ran out of rounds. Red, red, red! Alright, so now I see he's red, 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 red. I know that he's out of ammo. I need to pick up his sector of fire. Say he was engaging a bad guy. He's not in the fight no more. I need to cover his fire until he gets back in. Now that he's back in, I can see it. Green! Now I can go ahead and engage my targets. But I gotta cover his ass while he's not engaging. Let's go ahead and do some kind of a demo. You guys going live? Yeah. All right. We're just gonna go through it. Got that front! Shit! Shit! Gray! Go ahead and move! Go ahead and move! Blue! This is just practicing our communication. It is really hard when you only got three rounds in your weapon. It's like you're reloading every 10 seconds. Uh, the most important part of this is keeping your uh, fire superiority. Once you have that, that's, that's part of the violence of action he's talking about. I have fire superiority. I need to maintain tar uh, rounds going down range. All right, because as soon as there's a lull, that allows the enemy to get off their flat foot and then come back and gain their momentum. And I don't want that. So, shoot, move, communicate. Yep. It's one of those things where it's like, 
practice, practice, practice. You're never going to be able to train for every single situation. But being on board with your team and just knowing how to flow, as I like to call it, going to a situation and flowing is what you want to go for. Having magazines with low capacity, you're getting lulls in the fight because you're both changing mags. It's just the way it is. That's it.